Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to GCC's Georgia Chiro Connection. I'm your host, Dr. Kathy, and today we have coming to us from Pennsylvania, Dr. Alex, Alex Rubin. How you doing, Doc? Doing wonderful. How are y'all? Doing fantastic. Listen, I know this is one of those crazy days where everybody's got everything going on. So we're just going to jump in to the deep end and let's talk a little bit about philosophy and how you stay grounded in your practice. This is a great question. Well, uh, it's actually really funny, Kathy, because it actually goes back to the same thing that I was doing as a student, which is showing up to DE four times a year and uh, making sure that I'm really in touch with all of my mentors and all the people that have been pouring into me since I was a student. I don't know if you remember, there was the one time when you uh, taught the weekend lecture. I know I always give you a hard time about it. And you had everybody write something on the board with uh, urgent questions for you. And one of my questions was specifically, uh, how come you had stopped attending for a period of time? And uh, I know the next day you were immediately back. And, uh, you know, maybe it was a gut check. Maybe it was just uh, making sure we get ourselves reconnected with our people. And uh, yep. I'm doing great. And then uh, I guess on top of that, aside from, uh, you know, making sure I'm at DE four times a year, which we do have one coming up here in a couple of weeks, which is going to be phenomenal is that um, I have the same group of guys that I went to school with and the same guys I went to DE with. And now we've all got practices that opened up around the same time. We have a weekly mastermind call as well. So every Tuesday, uh, we always make sure we chat for you know at least an hour just to sort of see where our sticking points were in practice, what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're trying to do to keep moving forward. And uh, just making sure we're keeping each other focused and motivated. And if one of us sort of gets derailed or comes a little bit off track, trying to bring everybody back into where they need to be to be able to better take care of um, their people in the world. That is so good to have a group of people that you can rely on like that, because I think so many docs that get out and practice, they feel like they just leave the safety and the security of like the bubble of school. And then all of a sudden they don't know anybody in their community. They're just trying to make it on their own. And you okay. have to get back into something. And and you know what? I we you and I have talked about this. <laughs> Going back to DE for me was, yeah. you know, it was such a relief because I was so welcomed back in because, you know, for whatever circumstances that had happened in our lives that that we weren't attending on a regular basis. Yeah. And now when I can be there based on my teaching schedule, teaching schedule, of course. Always, <laughs> it's always a conflict. But when I can be there, it's always a welcoming place. And it's yeah. always a great way to refresh yourself. You know, we slip and we check and you got to get back in. You got to get into something, whether it's DE always. or whether it's like a philosophy event that we do for GCC. You 100%. have to be connected. 100%. And I, and I know even as a student, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's really just like such a humbling experience, even just be able to have this interview uh, with, you know, you and with the GCC, because it's really to see how it comes full circle. Like I remember volunteering for the GCC casino nights when we were students and picking up, uh, you know, Rob Schiffman and his wife from the airport and going through. And I was like, the only reason I did it wasn't just because I wanted to help the GCC and principled chiropractic, but it was because I wanted to get any bit of knowledge of principled chiropractic and good information about how to stay motivated, how to stay focused and philosophically sound as a chiropractor from them. And even if it was like a one minute nugget that came uh, you know, out of his wife's mouth about uh, what color to paint my walls or how to interact with patients, you know, these types of things really uh, were influential in my practice and our success to this to this point in time. I've always been so impressed by the students who had that foresight. I had an intern, Andreas, who would drive every single you know speaker that came to campus yeah. that he could. And he said, I get 45 minutes of uninterrupted one, 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 one. time. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. Smart of you to do that. So listen, yeah. I know you're doing great in practice. I'm sure you've got a couple patient testimonials. I'm sure you've got a million of them at this point. But, yeah. but tell us a little bit about something that can fire up anybody who's oh. watching today. Well, so, uh, I mean, we've got, you know, again, uh, I know we were chatting about this a bit earlier, but there's so many patient testimonials. We've got, you know, everything, you know, somebody that's one small adjustment from us, you know, we, we deliver so many adjustments. We start to sometimes forget about, um, you know, how one little adjustment can really impact and, and be uh, profound on somebody's life. And it's really cool because I actually had a, an intern uh, with me. She was shadowing this last uh, week and uh, brought her up. She was a D student. Uh, we had done a mission trip together as well, but it's really nice when I have these students popping into my office now too, because I, I spend an extra minute where, you know, I get into the flow of things and we go patient to patient, table to table. And I, sometimes you start to lose some of this conversation and I'll sort of ask these people to start to tell their stories and specifically to our intern about why does that they come in and then all of a sudden you'll hear something again and be like, oh my gosh, I forgot that you haven't had to deal with these migraine headaches that you've had for a year. Or she got to see a woman come in that, uh, you know, was told that her baby was breached and she's like, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. Is there anything that I could possibly do to get this baby to turn? I'm like, look, all I can tell you is that we're going to, you know, do the Webster technique. We're going to give this beautiful adjustment to you. We're going to see what we can do to see if we can get this baby to turn. And then, you know, 
three three days later, you know, she comes in, she's like, oh my God, I went to go see uh, my OB again. And my OB told me uh, that the baby was in the right position. And I told her that it was my chiropractor. Now the OB is probably like trying to reach out, trying to get more referrals to us. And she's like, in her mind, she's like, there's no way that chiropractic could have possibly helped turn this baby. But you never know, like, you know, we, we take care of these people and these, these miracles end up happening all the time. And maybe it helps, uh, you know, get more people on our side of everything and build up a really strong, powerful referral network to keep everybody excited every single day. You know, that passion that you have, that excitement that you have, never lose that. And if you're watching this and you feel like you've kind of lost that flame, get back to DE, get yeah. back around principal chiropractors, because that passion is not only what drives your office and what educates your patients, it's what changes your community and ultimately helps us to impact the world the way that we so you know, all of us so desperately want to do. That's the big idea, right? 100%. So just, just since you'd mentioned that, Kathy, I had, uh, you know, I always like to sort of like pull up like a couple of old speaker notes and things like that just to sort of see what uh, what calls to me. And before we got on this call, there was some old notes from Dee Dee Umber, who I know is having a, you know, a big birthday coming up here pretty soon. And um, other than that, uh, he had talked about trials and tribulations. And then he really went into enthusiasm. And he's like, we need to make sure that we have enthusiasm for what it is that we're doing. And he said, it's not really necessarily satisfied patients that are the ones that refer. It's the patients that are enthusiastic about chiropractic mm -hmm. that refer. And I think one of the biggest ways to be able to help create uh, enthusiasm and passion within your people uh, is making sure that you stay passionate yourself and, and stay enthusiastic about your work. And you make sure people know how powerful that was or how exciting and beautiful of an adjustment that was that had happened. And these things are going to be really what's going to help, uh, you know, just continually grow your practice and make you a staple of your community for, you know, many, many years to come. I love it. I love and I love doing that. Like I've got, I've got my DE notebook. I've got my notebooks from wherever I go to speak or listen. Of course. And there's always a nugget in there. I mean, you could flip to any page in any one of these notebooks and you find something that's always just perfect for that moment right then. So that was perfect. Yeah. 100%. Thank, you. thank you for sharing that. You're welcome, Kathy. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I know we're going to see you in two weeks. Well, yep. actually kind of like two and a half weeks for DE. Yep. Don't forget DE is coming up. It's the same weekend as our GCC Cairo Cup. So Thursday, October Beautiful. 19th is Cairo Cup. You going to play? Yeah. Uh, I am not sure if I'm going to play it. So that was like a last minute thing. I, I still may try and sneak in. I may also be doing a uh, speaking event for the students, for the student DE club that yes. Thursday. I haven't 100% locked in what's going to happen, but I may try and do a last minute registration, if not, for the uh, for the GCC event. Uh yeah. You know, my golf game's not good, but goes to a good cause. So that's what it's really all about. Maybe I'll just come for the camaraderie, you know, and that uh, and that keeps it great. I'm kind of the same way. Like, we're not counting wherever my <laughs> ball lands does not matter because we are not using matter. that one. We're going to use somebody else. <laughs> but, but I'll have fun doing it. So we've got that coming up. So check out our website, georgiachiropractic.org, for information, registration, sponsorship information about the Chiro Cup. Beautiful. And then we have DE following that. So that's at lifede.com. But on the Georgia Chiropractic website, you can also get information about all of our continuing ed events coming up. And a big mm -hmm. reminder, this Saturday night, we have got a Saturday Night Live philosophy at Ooh. Lake University. So that's going to be this Saturday night, right. 7 o'clock. It's in C149, I'm pretty cool. sure. But we'll have signs up for mm -hmm. you to, to be able to find it. So we've got philosophy this Saturday night. Thursday, Beautiful. October 19th is our GCC Chiro Cup, followed by DE. And then the beginning of November, we're heading to Savannah. And then in December, we're back to Marietta. Got to love that. Well, I'm sure that that room's going to be filled up with students and uh, you're going to light them on fire. Another, another uh, really cool GCC event I remember was one of my first times I ever got to, you know, speak or do everything was a philosophy by the fire that I think was actually help hosted at your house at the time, oh, yeah. uh, which is which is really, really cool as well. So, you know, again, everything comes full circle, but uh, it it's, full it's amazing. Circle. You know, this week, uh, Saturday <laughs> night, we have speaking Dr. Wade Port. And Dr. Awesome. Jamie Weisskyver. So awesome. two awesome docs. So listen, Amazing. if you're watching this, get to that. Love that. Enjoy, yeah. guys. They're, they're great docs. We're going to learn so much from them. They absolutely are. Listen, Alex, so are you. Thank you so much for coming on and doing this with us today. Anytime. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, Kathy. I know you got to run to go uh, pick up your kids. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Can't wait to see you soon. All right. We'll jam yep, soon. I'll see you soon. All right, everybody, take care. We'll see you next week right here for GCC's Georgia Cairo Connection. Bye. Bye-bye.